um, I know I haven't been around for a little bit and I just wanted to, it's just because I've been so tired. Um, I've actually filmed a couple of videos, but I have been so exhausted that I have not been able to edit them and get them posted. So I'm going to work on that today. Um, but this video is one of the problems I'm having. I'm and I think these are all medication related. I'm talking to my doctor in a few days. I have an appointment and I'm going to talk to my doctor about the medication and see what that is. It's and, oh gosh, now I forget the name, anastrozole, something like that. And um, one thing is that I am so exhausted. And then on the days when I have to do a lot of walking for work, I get, you know, for a few days afterwards, I am so physically tired and sore and achy that... I have a hard time moving around and so it's just getting to be too much um, and how this started was that I actually went to my doctor um, actually even before that um, they during my chemo and my radiation and everything uh, my employer was allowing me to park at the building where we work and that was great but they've decided that I'm cured and so now I can start pa parking on the other side where the um, everyone else parks and normally it's not an issue you know it it's a block away getting there is not an issue but I have been so exhausted and sore that it makes it damn near impossible to walk that short distance. And so I went to my doctor and I asked if I could get an ADA placard just so I could park at our building. Um, you know, if I had the ADA placard, I could use that and be able to park there. And she said, no, that's not really viable but it might be your medication that's causing this. Let's take a look at it at your next appointment. And so um, that's what we're going to do. And I did, after her comment, I never associated it with the medication itself, with the after effects of the chemo and the radiation, yes, but not with the medication. So I did look up the medication, and one of the rarer side effects is um, exhaustion and, and achy muscles. So very well could be. I don't know what else they're going to give me, but okay, we'll, we'll try something different, you know. And then another thing that I've noticed I've been experiencing a lot of is cramps in my feet and they're kind of a specific type of cramp um, my foot just sort of like cramps up and then freezes and I can't I you know I can't move it if I try to move it you know if I take my hand and try to move it then it hurts while it's cramping it doesn't so much hurt it's uncomfortable it's like I don't know it's not the normal cramp where like a charlie horse cramp where you're going oh 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 and jumping all over the place trying to work it out no it's it's a cramp in that everything just sort of your muscles contract and then freeze and so my 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 toes end up going like this and and then and my foot like this and then i'm frozen like that I can't walk, I can't, and it goes on for about 10 minutes, and it only seems to happen in the evening. It doesn't happen in the middle of the night and wake me up, I, and maybe it happens and I don't wake up, which is would be unusual, I wake up for everything, but um, it doesn't happen during the day. It happens in the evening when I'm sitting on the sofa, I've got my feet up, 
and maybe that's it. Maybe it's a lack of circulation or something. But, um, you know, and then if I try to work it out, that's when it hurts. So basically I can just, I have to sit there and, and you know, with my feet frozen and wait it out. And that's also one of the rarer side effects of this medication. <laughs> but now I've always gotten cramps in my toes. My toes will kind of cramp up. And this is going to kind of weird people out. So um, I can crack my toes. And I can actually do it um, like... I don't, I don't know if you can... I don't know if the camera's getting that, but yeah, I can just like like this and they'll crack, except I just did it, so now they're not. But um, so I've always been able to crack my toes and they do cramp from time to time, but not with any regularity. You know, every once in a while I get the Charlie horse or the toe will cramp up. Usually when it's cold, but to have it happen almost every night where my foot freezes and I can't move anything, that's new. And so I'm going to talk to the doctor about that when I go in to. <laughs> I'm just a wreck. <laughs> so that's what's going on. And I'll try and get these other videos edited together and get everything posted so <sighs> anyway um, it's a beautiful day out today the storm has passed and I, I actually filmed a whole bunch of stuff during the storm and then never got it put up <laughs> so um, but it's beautiful today. A lot of white caps out because it's still windy out on the ocean. But up here on the hill where I live, it's just gorgeous. We had a heavy rainstorm this morning and it passed. And so now we have the, um, the trade winds coming through and it's just a nice breeze. And anyway, so that's that. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.